there was a right and wrong issue. And I do know Trayvon Martin's parents are grateful for the support they've gotten across our community, our nation, and our world. So it's very important that we understand our enemy is not each other, our enemy is the system that allowed Trayvon Martin to the world to be murdered and there be no justice. So with that being said, I always say the best speech is the short speech, uh, but I do want to thank the organizers for you know, inviting me to be part of this. Uh, I'm glad I'm here with the community. So we have to keep fighting, keep fighting for justice because we'll never get justice until we stand up for justice, until we make justice for, for, for ourselves. So uh, with that being said, I do want to invite everyone to come down tomorrow at 6 p.m. to Lamar Park for another continued rally. So, so it's very important that the people stay united and not divided. So thank you for allowing me to speak. This is Ernest Moore. I am in Lamert Park again. This is day three of the revolt demonstrations against the George Zimmerman murder trial verdict, which was handed down real quick last Saturday. Today is Tuesday, July 16th, 2013. There is a heavy police presence here. We got police LAPD on horsebacks in the park. There is LAPD circulating on motorcycles, big time. Let me see if I can catch this. Here they come. LAPD on motorcycles, LAPD on horseback. Heavy police presence today. We'll see if things get out of hand tonight. I hope the demonstrations don't stop.
I'd like to know why the mainstream media has, has not mentioned anything about the fact that they've run all the black Americans out of the city of Bell. You heard about the Bell 6 uh, city council corruption? Oh, actually, I have not heard of that, actually. You haven't? No, no, no. I'm sure there's some have, but I've only been here for a few months myself, and right. a lot of us reporters, we go in and we get our marching orders and we head out. Oftentimes, there's other managers who are above us who decide what the news is, and they've already got their story set up. So a lot of times, we just, you know, go where the news is, where the, the breaking news of the day is. So when there's other deeper stories, occasionally they get dropped and we don't cover them, you know? Well, the other issue is that the media doesn't interview the protesters, all the protesters. Oh, that's it what seems... I've been doing out here. Oh, really? That's, that's all we've been talking about the past few days. I mean, everyone I'm talking to here, I believe, are protesters. Um, if anything, I say my story has been biased against the people who would side with George Zimmerman because the past few days, everyone I've been interviewing is, you know, they're furious about the brick that happened in Florida. You know, I talked to this gentleman over here in the white who's screaming you know, in anger and wants justice, can't believe what happened. And, you know, these are all the people we're putting on TV and we're showing. I've been talking with organizers, people at the prayer vigil last night, the past, you know, few days. So, well, I've been down here, what, the last two or three days. Uh -huh. Nobody will interview me or ask me any questions. You got a camera, you look like a news person. <laughs> well, I've gone up to them and asked them to interview me so I can give my opinion as far as what's been going on. And a lot of them have seen me uh, down here for years. I've been in many protests. Would you want to give your opinion? Yeah.